well and died and gave me the wisdom and the power to use it. Mr. Chairman, Toastmasters, guests, most important beautiful ladies, good evening. Good evening. Endowment is an asset, a gift. And with this gift, I have been made able to understand women. I've noticed that women have some wonderful things. You see, when God created man, he formed it. Speak one night. From the dirt. From the dirt. When God created woman, he molded her. He shaped her. He sculpted her. He filled her. Yeah. with much beauty. He said, like the Mercedes-Benz model, she was the best or nothing. He gave her a very special, powerful tool. Something that we all know quite well. It begins with the letter P. You see, for some V, she can make you do almost anything. Make you get a haircut. She can make you join a loom. She can. She can have you in Commonwealth Bank taking on a loan for absolutely nothing. With the P, she can have you signing the letter to the Governor General and joining a political party after she slapped you in the Oh, the mighty of four. Just look at the mighty Samson. Putty in the hands of Delilah. Cookie. You all know Cookie, right? Yeah. Her piece so amazing, it built an empire. Yeah. <laughs> a man as powerful as ghosts gave up his family, his kids, his money, his business, his good wife, all around one good piece. A P. <laughs> Ladies, let me tell you, that P is persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> and with beauty, you can persuade a man to do just about anything. Yeah. Now the Bible says, beauty fades, and charm is deceitful. Which is why it's so important to connect in the mind. But let's go back to creation. When God created man, he gave him a brain. When God created woman, he gave her a brain. <laughs> when man is hungry, he says to himself, man, let me go get something to eat. When a woman is hungry, she says, I got to feel for something. Man, I feel like bamboo. Man, I feel like going for sushi. Man, I feel like sacadillo. This just goes to show you how dynamic a woman's mind is. She can tell you exactly what's gonna happen before it even happens. You see, you can take out, buy her some drinks, show her a nice time, even take her to ladies' night tonight, and think that she just might give you something. <laughs> no, uh -uh. Mm -mm. She already knows the outcome from just one Look, you see, she could take a look at Toastmaster Delmaro down from over there, and she could see red. She could see a brand new iPhone 6. Yes. She could take a look at Toastmaster to Tony Longley over there, and she could see school fees paid. Oh. Mortgage. My Lord. What? No. Now, she could also take a look at some young, handsome fellow out there. Yeah. See that he is charming, he is confident, I ain't got no names. You mean, you <laughs> and she could see potential. She could see maybe marriage. You know, maybe I should give him some tea. He could be. Jay-Z, I could be Beyonce, Betty yeah. 
I'll be Michelle because that's my bra. <laughs> Ladies, I need you to understand the truth of your power. Seduction is that ultimate, ultimate form of power. But at this time, let me tell you that your power actually does not just end with the letter P. It can be wrapped up in the word beauty, which says B for blessings, E for enticing, A for attractive, U for unique, T for trustworthy, and Y, because all good things in life stem from you, Mr. Jimmy. I'm just a bitch.